is the Librem 5 Linux phone for you. For some of you, this will be the hottest thing ever. Others will find it to be a big disappointment because it doesn't do what you expect. Let's dig in and find out what this is all about. As of the time of this video, the Librem 5 from Purism is on pre-order only. We are told it's shipping possibly around September 2019. Currently it's on pre-order for $6.99. I ordered it when it was only $6.49. In any case, it's not some cheap phone, though it's definitely cheaper than a new iPhone or Samsung Android. Many of you who are privacy oriented are excited to finally have a phone that enables your privacy rather than take it away. At least that's the promise. And for the ones who are distracted sheep, let me remind you again that there are built-in trackers on iOS and Android that you cannot turn off. Those devices are spy bricks. Carrying them around is like allowing Apple and Google to have you watched 24 seven by a private investigator. Clearly, that is what excites the people about the Librem 5. No trackers, hardware switches for sensors so you know for sure that you're not being tracked, separation of the cellular baseband from your device RAM so some black box software isn't potentially reading your data on the phone without your knowledge, replaceable batteries, 2 terabytes micro SD support, and 3.5 millimeter phone jacks, USB-C, Cool features, though this is not perfect. As long as you have a cell connection, of course the carrier can track you. Which can also translate to three letter agencies tracking you. But at least Apple and Google won't be tracking you. As well as other third party internet platforms. I just want to make this clear in case you think this will solve all privacy and security issues. There's some interesting workarounds though. You can stop the carrier from tracking you if you turn off the cell baseband with the hardware switch. And you can use some other way to communicate like with Wi-Fi using voice over IP. I also see a reference to some voice over IP encryption, though I presume both parties have to use the same app. I'm liking that because three-letter agencies use voice fingerprinting to track us. These basic features aside, I understand that people today have an expectation of what a phone should do. And some will find a Linux phone tremendously different. I expect the touch interface to be as expected on a modern phone. I've seen some demos and it will likely do the job. I've seen examples showing the responsiveness of the device on a development kit. In some cases, the kits show there's still work to do and there's some sluggishness. I presume and expect that most of that will be resolved by release time. But where many of you will fail to appreciate this device is when it comes to apps. When this phone gets released, there will be a lack of common app. Basically, the Librem 5 is a PC, a Linux PC with a touch interface and sized for mobile. This means that any website that currently handles auto sizing for mobile should work fine. This is not the same as an iOS native app like Snapchat or Facebook native app. Native apps or apps that are made for a particular device can take advantage of specific features of particular iOS or Android capabilities like emoticons, face recognition, or multi-touch. A web interface has limited access to these specialized features. This means that non-native apps will not be as snappy as a native app. A website gets all its contents from the internet. There are no local files, so there's a perception of a faster interface with native apps. There will be few native apps for the Librem 5 at the time of release. Native apps will actually be Linux apps regular Linux apps that have been modified for a touch interface. So this will depress the common consumer, especially the young people. Let me just tell you things you will miss from your current phone. There will be no ways and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. I see some sort of map app on their sample though. 
there will be no Snapchat. Poor people. This is so sad. You can still run anything with a website like Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, and quite unfortunately, Facebook and Instagram. There won't be a WhatsApp since that is a native app. Good. Or Signal, which is another native app. Don't worry, I'm sure my app Brax.me will work as an encrypted platform. There will be Telegram. That will work. Their Linux version at least. The one thing that many of the young people will miss the most are the games. Unless a game exists on a website or on Linux, you are out of luck. If this is the primary thing you do on your phone, don't get a Librem 5. You'll hate it. Live streamers will likely have a problem. There will probably be few options since I expect some issues with support for live stream software. Definitely there will be no Periscope app or Twitch or even YouTube live streaming. Though you can watch the streams as a viewer on their websites and possibly a more clunky interface. So, from the app point of view, if you have some specialized use that requires extensive use of some specific app, like a live streamer for example, then this may not be for you. Now, for programmers like me, this phone is actually quite special. Believe it or not, it is just a PC with the on-screen keyboard or even an external keyboard and HDMI monitor, it's actually a portable Linux computer. You should be able to run command line stuff on this even. There's no need for an app store here. The device is built in programming languages that you can use on Linux like C and Python or PHP. This means it would be simple to write programs to automate tasks and do things that I cannot do on an iPhone that I would be able to do on a Linux computer. Like thousands and thousands of other people, someone may have already written some apps for Linux that just need a touch interface. And some of these are even open source. What I expect will happen is that the first bunch of people that will be on the Librem 5 will be the techies and those with good knowledge of Linux. Then a year from now, a new ecosystem will develop that can actually cause some competition to iOS and Android. This will take a while. I expect that when the Librem 5 comes out, there will be many complaints from people expecting iOS and Android usability. I I already know it's not going to be an iOS device, and I already have iOS devices. So I still have the capability to do other things on those devices. But I will likely carry this around out of the house and leave my iPhones at home. But my imagination is starting to grow. What can you do with a mobile device that's actually a full computer? I have many Raspberry Pis, which are actually Linux computers. I do a lot of stuff with them, but they're not portable like a mobile phone. For those who do not know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's a cheap single board computer that runs Linux and millions and millions of these things are used for many purposes. I myself sell several products that use these computers. I just wish the Librem 5 was cheaper because then I'd like to buy many of them just like the Raspberry Pis. I expect that early on new apps will be difficult to install. The iOS and Google Play experience has made it simple for most of us and the expectations are high. Interface, but with the capabilities of a full desktop Linux computer, that is intriguing. It's basically like a Microsoft Surface on a phone form factor. Will this be enough to keep this project alive? After all, Microsoft has been quite unsuccessful with Windows phones. Well, it was probably unsuccessful because it was Windows. Many negatives attached to that nowadays. So will the Librem 5 succeed? Should you buy one? What is different here is that the Librem 5 engage a community of Linux developers and the open source community as well. This is not like Microsoft creating a closed system. This idea of openness led to the early success of the IBM PC back in 1982 and even led to the wide use of Android. It's the developer community that makes things successful. We'll keep our fingers crossed. 
I think it will be a niche market during the first year. It may even be possible that other competitors will use the same code to create other mobile hardware. And there's already development on a cheaper phone called the Pine Phone, which is around $149. I hope it succeeds. It will be useful to someone like me for sure, aside from the privacy aspect. I'm really tired of being spied on, so I've resorted to using a BlackBerry Bold. But there are too many limitations on that. Just like there are even more limitations on flip phones. I still want to access the internet at times and it's limiting on the BlackBerry Bold since the device is so old. I personally have a lot of patience for things that may not work on it initially. I'm sure it will be fixed. Not because I'm intending to be a Librem 5 fanboy, but there will be immediate utility for me with the privacy value on day one. If it allows me to do more than my privacy oriented BlackBerry Bold, then it will be a start. If you have some money to spare, I encourage you to buy one of these and we can all experiment together. But you have to have an experimenter's mindset so you're not disappointed. Keep your Android and iOS phones in the meantime. I'm not excited enough to think about buying a new iOS or Android phone. I have an iPhone 10 and a Google Pixel. This new thing is cooler. Hope you find my content interesting. Please subscribe so you'll learn more about privacy and new things in the horizon to help us protect it. Mm -hmm.